the Fawley Challenge Cup. Junior events, of course, and uh, Westminster School are involved here in their famous pink on the uh, Berkshire Station against Northwich Rowing Club on the uh, Buck side in green and gold. And Westminster are away very efficiently. Yeah, great start from both crews. Again, a huge explosion from a moment of tension and nerves and silence. And a lot of oars in these quads, so <laughs> two oars a person, a lot of noise made off the start. Um, and we can see the um, Westminster School quad sculling really nicely as they approach the middle of the course, have established about a length or so, maybe a little bit of clear water um, over Northwich uh, on the left of our picture in the green. Northwich based on the uh, River Weaver, sent a crew here to this event last year and did reach the Thursday where they were beaten by uh, Leander. Yeah, Northwich don't have too much uh, to go on in the, in, in the season uh, in terms of form for, to read off. Uh, just at Eton uh, two weeks ago in 10th uh, place. Um, Westminster, of course, they, their top uh, boat is the 8 in the Princess Elizabeth. This is uh, the next boat down for them. Um, sculling pretty well, I think, in the middle of this uh, heat of the first round of the Fawley, our event for junior men sculling in a uh, quad. That's four oarsmen, no cocks and they have two oars apiece, which means it's a sculling race. Uh, you can see there, um, they look like beautiful insects from above, yeah. don't they? The way the oars are moving in harmony. Yeah, they do. That Obviously, the mechanics is very different. Uh, what makes a good sculler a good sculler, as opposed to a regular oarsman? Well, we've got a tradition now uh, in the UK of kids starting out sculling, uh, which is great. And I think we've got many more good scullers coming through as a result. In my day, I used to start as an oarsman. There weren't many sculling boats around. And frankly, I was a rubbish sculler because <laughs> didn't start out doing that. Um, and I think it gives people more skill. They're often sculling in a single boat, very, very narrow. It gives you a sense of balance, how to move the boat, move the hands together. And then when uh, the body's strengthening a bit, swinging to one side or the other, people often... Uh, then choose a side which is their preference where they feel more natural so I think it's a, it's a great skill to have early on and it's um, really been one of the foundations of the success of British rowing in the last 20 years to have a program where kids come in and start out sculling better physiologically but also better for the skill set. Well Westminster's a greater history and of course in the immediate term no doubt the, uh, the talent and the fitness of their rowers is counting for plenty here but uh, Northwich actually have stuck to them admirably and uh, it remains a live race as it heads towards its second half here yeah if you're in the boat that's behind here and you can just glance across and see that you've got an overlap on the crew in front at this point in the race that is still something that's doable and if you can encourage the guys who can't see that uh, further down the boat that we can get something here guys let's push on um, so one of the guys in the boat will be come on you can see uh, in the Northwich boat there looking across from the two-seat Kevin Dudley um, probably looking and calling to his crew if we need to go we need to go now let's push on and I can see them and I can see that we're moving on them uh, Westminster on the other hand will be trying to maintain efficiency not to get rattled not to let their heads go somewhere else and to keep doing what they've been doing through the race keep that efficiency keep that lead not to panic what happens if you start to go and think I need to push it on I'm going to take it on my own then you start to break the rhythm and the boat will move less efficiently so it's, uh, it's still a good race here yeah, what looks like clear water to spectators and appears safe doesn't necessarily feel that way if you're in the leading boat they the uh, Westminster Oarsmen will know that Northwich are right on their shoulders yeah, here pushed, breathing down the neck they're really being pushed to the finish great credit to Northwich I think Westminster will hold on to it but they've been pushed in the last four or five hundred meters uh, very hard by Northwich a great road by them well, Westminster's pipes are certainly cleared that was uh, a first day race of uh, real rigor and vigor Westminster School do prevail, Northwich go out, but they go home in the knowledge that they've pushed one of the pedigree crews to its uh, furthest extent.